how to insert a hole in a 3D object. So in this case I have this butterfly and what I want to do is insert a hole here and here for like let's maybe a string. Okay? And I want the holes to be uh, somewhat even on both sides. Alright, so in object mode we insert a cylinder. And the cylinder um, the, the dimensions of this are in millimeters. So I'm going to say that the hole should be no less than maybe one millimeter and no greater than, in this case, maybe three millimeters, okay? Based upon the size of this, which is 30 millimeters. So I'm going to go with two. That sounds good to me. And what I'm going to do here is just move this to where I want the hole to be. And if I use seven on a number pad and five on a number pad it will allow me to go into my top view if you're unsure about the keyboard shortcuts that I'm using uh, please watch the keyboard shortcut video which is also in this playlist Here is the hole. And what I want to do is put a hole directly on the other side too. So in order to do that, I click on the butterfly. And then I hit tab. And I look for something that's in the center of the butterfly. Let's say um, there's a vertice right here. That's pretty close. I feel that this is a little different than this side. See it? It's very close, however. So I'm going to go ahead and use that as a, a way to gauge it. I could also use this one. So maybe this one's a better one to go by. So it is now mesh, snap, cursor to selected. That moves this little tiny cursor, this white, to the very center of this. And you can see also now a new crosshair that appears. Okay. Go ahead and hit tab. You can see that 3D cursor is right there. So what I want to do is take this shape and move its point of origin over to here. That's very easy to do now. Go object, transform origin to 3D cursor. Good. Now over here we have some stuff that we can play with. One would be the wrench. Make sure that the original is highlighted and under modifier there is a mirror. I want to mirror an X and I want to keep these two on right here and hit apply. Whenever you're using booleans, you have to make sure that the faces are all facing the right direction. You can't see direction yet, but if you go down below, you can go to shading and use texture solid, back face culling. And everything looks normal, but let's click on the object and go apply rotation and scale. If everything still looks normal, and you should be able to click and unclick this and everything looks fine, don't worry about it. If something looks like this, however, if, if it looks like that, those are faces that are facing in the wrong direction. To fix that, all you do is click on any piece of geometry, uh, the component, it could be edges, faces, or vertice. Click L, and over here in the tab, we can flip direction. Next, we're going to take this cylinder, which is the only cylinder in the scene, click on the butterfly 
and we're going to use a command over here under the wrench called boolean. And under boolean, we can use difference and then cylinder and then hit apply. If all went correctly, you should now be able to um, move the cylinders or delete the cylinders and a hole will be in its spot. And that's how you insert a hole in a 3D mesh. Again, you can, if, if you're ready for that, you can now um, export as still and we can call this butterfly with hole. And now it's ready to NetFab or whatever application you're using to clean up geometry. I'm having my students use NetFab Basic. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the how to put a hole in a 3D mesh. Please move on.